Hello, how is everyone today? Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back to this uncanny environs. In fact, Jamie's uncanny environs. And you know what? You are officially my uncanny floral enthusiast. How's that sound? Let me know. If you don't like that, let me know. But I'm gonna to refer to you as floral enthusiast. Yay! Okay guys, you know what today is. We are going to actually make a design here. I'm gonna discuss the 358 rule of floristry, which is pretty basic, which means harmony, balance, focal points, everything you need to know to create wonderful, cool design. I know you're excited, I am too. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the Oasis out. We're gonna prepare the container and build the construction. And then we're gonna go and build the actual design. What do you think? I love it, I love it, I love it, I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for checking out my videos. Please, if you haven't before, like, subscribe, and hit your notification bell. That's the last time I'm gonna say it today, but I might put it up on the screen for later in the video. But just so you know, I gotta do it. We're building and I really appreciate all your support. Please continue to support us. Thank you so much. Okay, I am gonna change because unfortunately I can't wear my little outfit the whole time because it's not that comfortable under my chin. Imagine, I can't imagine the things I do for my uncanny floral enthusiast, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay guys, let me go ahead and change and I will be right back and we'll get started. Thanks again for tuning in. Okay guys, I'm back. I changed into something subtle. You like it? Yeah? Welcome aboard the Uncanny Floral Express. Get on board, yeah. That's what we're gonna tell everyone, get on board. Yes, yes. Okay, here we are guys. We're gonna start our oasis for this design here. And what we're gonna build is, we're probably gonna build a nice triangle design with focal points, uh, with these flowers that I have in front of me. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this yet, so you're gonna see me create a little bit off the fly. Uh, sometimes I plan it, sometimes I don't. Uh, it depends on how many flowers I have and what kind of flowers and what I'm doing. And since I'm doing a lot of different arrangements for our celebration of Niosa and Fiesta in Texas, um, we're gonna do a lot. So um, I'm not gonna really plan out everything, but I have a general idea and I'll go over it with you as we discuss this, because I want you to, if for you to learn, I want you to go ahead and follow some of these rules, basic rules this way. If it doesn't come naturally to you, how you design a floral arrangement, these rules will help, at least initially, so you know what looks good in a design. Okay guys, let's get started. I am gonna uh, tape up these oasis, and if you'll notice, I have a colored oasis here. I'm gonna put this around the edge of this clear base, so it looks uh, festive. You agree? Yeah, definitely. Okay guys, let's, uh, oh I'm sorry, Floral enthusiast, that's what I've decided I'm gonna call you too. Uncanny floral enthusiast. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more, I hope you do. All right, let's do this. Okay, first, we're gonna cut the oasis. So, I thought I'd be clever here because I don't have a lot of the clear uh, orange, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of the orange oasis here. So, instead of, I don't know if I could fit it all the way, you know what, I think I might be able to. I was gonna do something differently. Let's see what happens here. First of all, we're gonna take the Oasis and fit it to the design so we can cut it. By the way, this has been soaking for about an hour. I, I soaked it in the Floral Life, which I mentioned to you last time. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my previous video. Uh, on basic floral design tools and you'll know exactly what you need to get and what I am talking about when I refer to floral life. It's basically uh, floral food for the flowers and they go into the oasis. You sit there and you soak this in water for about an hour or two and then once that's done you can start your design. Okay first thing I did, um, not a very good job either, I'm gonna try to fit this in here. That looks good, but we don't want anything hanging over the edges, really. 
Uh, let's see. I thought it was going to be a little uh, better on my chopping, on my uh, knife cuts here, but I'm not. So let me get this in here first. Okay, guys. Got that in. Perfect. All right. Solid. Yep. Now, see, since this does not fill up the entire bowl, I am going to actually do what I was originally going to do. I should have checked this first, but this is what you got to do when you're designing florals. So let's do this. I am going to insert this oasis into the middle of the design. And I want to adhere this. So I'm going to take some floral adhesive, again, uh, oasis floral adhesive. I'm going to put it in the bottom of the design so I can stick the oasis to it. This should stick even though it's wet. So, okay, squeezing, squeezing here. Not coming out so great. This is why I time lapse. It's just so much quicker. <laughs> you know, guys, I don't know how long you're tuning into the videos. I'm watching uh, to see if you guys are watching it all the way through. Hopefully you are, because I say a lot of different things throughout the video. So I'm hoping that you tune in. Okay. I put some floral adhesive down the bottom. So let's go ahead and insert this oasis here. Let's stick this to it. Hopefully it's going to stay. Now, since I'm using a clear base, this time I want to make it a little more festive. I don't want to, I don't want to cover up the oasis this time. Uh, I want to actually display it. Since it's a cute, nice, uh, bright color, which will be great for like a Fiesta or Texas design. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to improvise. It's not what I was originally going to do. I am going to cut out the edges to go along where I have the other green oasis. This way I can put them around the sides and we can utilize exactly the amount I need. Perfect. This way it'll fit in because remember, what you want, no matter what you're doing, whatever, whatever design, the oasis needs to be secure and it needs to be able to move. So you should actually be able to take your design and flip it over and nothing come out. I'm not going to test you on that today, but as we get along, that is, that's the goal you're reaching for. Solid construction. This way, the flowers stay, the design stays, and everyone can enjoy it for as long as possible. And you're very proud of it, which I know you will be proud of any design you do. Okay, first one, let's get this oasis in here. Let's see how we do this. Oops, looks like it's a little too big. Get that on the edge. Okay, doesn't look the best. We'll clean this up as we go here, but it serves a purpose. Same thing with this side. Let's see how much I have and see if I have enough to... I do, yay! I'm so happy, guys. This is great because I'm gonna get to utilize all of this oasis. By the way, if you want to find out where you can get some uh, colored foam oasis, check out below um, in the comments. I have some links where you can actually purchase this. And I definitely recommend you do this if you're gonna use a clear container. And when I say container, I'm just referring to a vase or whatever you're building your design in. Okay, we've got to modify this a little bit. In fact, what I'm gonna do here, since this doesn't fit perfectly, I'm gonna chop off a little bit of this oasis Make sure you get it out of the bottom here. You don't want a bunch of uh, foam floating around in the bottom of the design. It won't look that great. Hopefully we won't have any, but most likely you will, but try to avoid it if you can. You know what I mean? All right, guys, let's get this in here so I can get this cover. This actually covers up a lot of the space, which is great. Again, if I would have cut these out, pre-cut them, I wouldn't be showing you exactly what I am doing. It wouldn't take us long. Uh, so just remember, this will be pretty quick. You measure it out. It just takes a few minutes. Let's get this one in here. Oops, I gotta shave that off. Again, just line it up to the oasis, uh, to the edge of the container, and you will find out if it's gonna fit. The goal is, especially since this stuff isn't always cheap, especially the colored one, you want to utilize every piece of foam that you have, especially on the colored foam. You don't want to waste any. Um, who knows how much you have? Maybe you don't have that much. Let's try this one on that last corner. I think this is going to fit. I think it's gonna look great. Oh, perfect. 
We got it. All right. I'm going to clean this up real quick. I'm not going to make you watch me clean. I hope you got this set up. Remember, I took a solid green oasis that I've been soaking in Floral Life. And I had an orange oasis, a colored one, that I was also soaking in Floral Life. Do that for at least an hour. Green's one's been soaking for a day, actually. So it's it has plenty of food in it. The idea is to have it soak up the food. So this way, and the water, so when you stick the stems in, it can live and be happy and look beautiful. All right, let me go ahead and get this cleaned up and I'll be right back, guys. Thanks for staying tuned and I hope you stay tuned for the next part, portion. Thanks.